Listen now. Let it be known that that which has come has been by my own hand. Calloused. Exhausted am I. For all that is now first began in this heart. This heart which has ached and bled. Loved and lied. Lashes of the tongue in reflection, in defiance of self. Self. The lost stone, hardened by the misconception that love, and only love, was equal to that of acceptance. And by whose claim? For am I not my own? Must I not have a burning, flaming, rabid, my own before any other, heart made ready through gentleness and understanding, stand with me, hear me, love myself for who I am, in purpose, in faith, and belief, that I, I who is so small yet casts a large shadow, that I, despite myself, despite situation and circumstance, that I am worthy. We are but the culmination of circumstance, but more so the creation of what was not. Be, by definition, no man, to be less man and more human. Doubt so wonderfully has plagued that of the artistic spirit, one which should not be so selfishly sheltered, but splendidly showcased. For who are you, if not that which has been placed into your soul? Years have been spent mindlessly, hands idly, soul steered and surely so by soundless sentiments, saying not, screaming all, for who am I? This blood of mine, lineage lost to labels that know me not, stolen by society, made poor, spiritually. And all that is necessary is the notion that I, that this heart, this life, this deliberate scheme, yes, that I am, in the greatest end, found worthy. Deny myself I cannot no longer for exhaustion does sit below my eyes, and my spirit cries for rest. O oh, glory, do you hear me? Amongst the many, the many, the many, and I am the few. For am I not my own? These hands have torn that which has been good within me apart. Now obey, shall you, and hold me together now. Hold me close together. Falling apart into myself, it is the fall that allows me to grow, us to fall together. Now, spirit dance, create. Art is art, is art as is love, and no man, by name or definition, shall be the judge of this said creation. Poetry, brush, dance, song, skill, is to be admired. Surely so. But does it move you to tears, to anguish, to hope, to mercy, to love, to life, to self? Ridicule not that which has been made in revelation, reflection, in realization. For who are you? The pain of an artist is apparent in all that is given life. For by my hand, my hand, look at it now. This hand, the map of the valley, the skyline, the rut. How capable it is to touch 
to love and comfort, so capable and so very worthy. Today is the day that we shall be well. For love is within the heart, extended through that of our very own fingertips. If there is one thing that I have come to understand, it is that which we give life that will represent in perfect correlation what we stand for. Have we not fallen long enough onto our hand and knee? kneeling amongst the filth, hands stained in the colors of this world, our heads bowed, eyes swollen, spirits in downpour. This now shall be our harvest, our poetic pursuit of freedom through that which had for so long bound us Artists, continue to create, for no tongue shall be silenced. Slain in the name of what not and whim, your purpose is so great, and no heart could contain that which makes you so very you. Fight not your own creative nature. Desire not to be understood, but to be heard, and hands Touch not what belongs to you, but nurture that which is of your own creation. Imagine a world, yes, now. Now close your eyes. Imagine a world where each man, both humble and small, each man who has been made tired or broken. Yes, imagine that each man of this world did that which was meant for him. Grand, is it not? Now more, imagine this world. Each man living in great purpose and meaning. That that man, that he is cut down such loss and now now in this very moment this man each man is you cut down by the very belief however wrong that you were not capable you who is so very worthy of all that is good Artist, great man, return to that which continues to call you, that beckons you to raise your hand in inspiration. For who are you, so still, going nowhere, nowhere? Who is left with no company but self, the company of self? And what can you claim as your own? as your very own. I weep, weep, for no one hears, no one comforts, self, amongst the many in a state of reflection. For who are you? And wounded we have been for quite some time, time which should be spent in search of self. Go now. Do not fall to the many, for you are the few, the innovators, the great change makers, the leaders, the golden hearted. You are an artist. Begin this journey now, continue it forevermore. Be not stilled by doubt or fear, but encouraged by purpose and longing. It is this that I wish to say, 
that you are that of the most precious substance. Now create. Amongst dead roses, graced upon the red of flesh, in rage, no stillness, not a thought, no mind can know rest. For there is only madness here, here in this world of the superficial, here. For where else can we flourish, if bedded in doubt and fear, than from this filth we shall rise. This earth that swallows, consumes, and what else can be given but that of the continuous death of the artistic spirit? Does life not stem from death, from brokenness? Does not the muse dance in the darkness and flirt with that of the light, and there, and the star-freckled horizon? Does there not lie inspiration? Lift your eyes to see. You are no man, yet man all the same. Be after no heart but that of your own, for loneliness is a disease with very little cure the ailment of the many. It is now that I have seen such sickness take effect, cultivated with the sorrow sown by man. For it robs us from within, moves in ways that eyes cannot see, alone, amongst the many, yet again, in search of that which has once cast such little shadow upon my lovely face. Yet now, now, such demeanor is dimmed, dulled by the pains of a love never had, never known, never dreamt, the love of self. Artist, today shall be that which offers Nothing more but that of hopeful revelation rather than that of painful consequence. To you I shall ask this, now that you have found that which has enlightened your spirit, will you continue to fall to that which has always hindered you, or instead will you stand and move forward, always forward? How might your heart sing if you give it new voice, a message to give song? It is you who can make all the difference if only you choose to create in selflessness. Now that you have made strides in that which makes you wholeheartedly yourself, know that others too shall follow suit. Such was the case in my own life, and for it, I am glad. Dread, uneasiness, yes, I did know it, and such presence did cause great stress in my every day. It was then that I decided to live this life for that which I strive to represent life for all its goodness and worth, a life of hope and love made unconditional. Yes, I am well, because after all, during and despite the darkness, I chose wellness. I had been made unwell by no other hand than my own. That was the seed of my own disease, of my great undoing. And having acknowledged 
that which plagued me so heavily, that alone has been my lifelong remedy. Artist, see now? By your hand, you create not only that which lies upon the canvas, but too, that which is so in life as well. Be glad. Be well. Put that into the world which encourages you and speaks the message that sits so wonderfully upon your pleasant heart. Artist, you are worthy. You are living language.